Hi everyone, my name is Casey Galong and welcome to my presentation on the Bee Gees. My goal for all of you is to learn more about this iconic band. Introduction. Who were the Bee Gees? The Bee Gees were an English-Australian pop rock band that embodied the disco era of the late 1970s. In becoming one of the best-selling recording acts of all time, the Bee Gees adapted to changing musical styles while maintaining the high harmonies, elaborate melodies, and ornate orchestrations that were their trademark. The Bee Gees, their group band name, was short for the Brothers Gibb. Members the Bee Gees were a group of the singing trio of brothers, Barry Gibb, Robin Gibb, and Maurice Gibb. The oldest brother was Barry, who was born on September 1st, 1946, on the Isle of Man, while the fraternal twins, Robin and Maurice Gibb, followed on December 22nd, 1949. After emigrating to Australia with their parents, the Gibb brothers returned to England in the mid-1960s to further their singing careers. Their worldwide success came when they returned to the United Kingdom and signed with producer Robert Stigwood. Musical style. The multiple award-winning group was successful for most of its 40 years of recording music, but it had two distinct periods of exceptional success. As a harmonic soft rock act in the late 1960s and early 1970s, and as the foremost stars of the disco music era in the late 1970s. No matter the style, the Bee Gees sang three-part tight harmonies that were instantly recognizable. As brothers, their voices blended perfectly in the same way that the Everly Brothers and the Beach Boys did. Barry sang lead on many songs in an R&B falsetto introduced in the disco years. Robin provided the clear vibrato lead that was a hallmark of their pre-disco music, and Maurice sang high and low harmonies throughout their career. Early Recordings their early recordings, including dramatic hits such as Massachusetts 1967, drew comparisons with the Beatles. The trio reached the top 10 with I've Gotta Get a Message to You and I Started a Joke, both 1968, but split briefly after the relative failure of their concept album Odessa 1969. Once reunited, they had hits with Lonely Days 1970 and How Can You Mend a Broken Heart, 1971. But there were several years that were hitless before they returned to the charts with Main Course, 1975. Disco Era Recorded in Miami, grounded in rhythm and blues, and typified by the chart-topping single Jive Talkin', their album Main Course 1975 put the Bee Gees at the forefront of the disco movement. The Bee Gees' work on the soundtrack album Saturday Night Fever 1977 would popularize and in many ways define. The recording earned several Grammy Awards, including Album of the Year. In addition to writing their own songs, such as Stayin' Alive, the brothers composed tracks for other artists on the album, which would eventually sell 40 million copies. The Bee Gees Fashion Following the success of their hits such as Jive Talkin' came the cultural phenomenon and blockbuster success known as Saturday Night Fever. America officially entered its hedonistic disco era and the album became one of the best-selling soundtracks of all time. Style-wise, the Bee Gees, along with John Travolta during this time, were the poster boys for disco fashion. As seen in the pictures provided, the Bee Gees could be seen wearing tight, flared pants, 
polyester shirts with pointy collars and unbuttoned double knit polyester leisure suits, gold bling around their necks, platform shoes, feathered hair, and flashy fabrics. The Legacy of the Bee Gees. In 1997, the band was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and in 2015 received a Grammy for Lifetime Achievement. The group disbanded on several occasions, but most notably after the death of Maurice in 2003. Although brothers Barry and Robin reunited in 2009 and made several appearances. After Robin's death in 2012, Barry Gibb occasionally performed and recorded as a solo act. With this, I end my presentation. Thank you for listening my presentation on the iconic band of the Bee Gees, and I hope you learned more about them. Here is a list of the references I used throughout the presentation with good information about the Bee Gees and their career.